Hey guys, it's Nikki here with another thrift haul. I hope you guys are having a great summer. I have, except for some little drawbacks. Um, I told you guys about my knee issues, so it's gotten worse, but I'm now in physio, so I'm hoping that things will get better. Um, over the past few weeks, um, I just was so crazy busy. I haven't been able to come in. My cousins were in town from Jamaica. They spent like a week and a half with me. We went lots of thrift shopping, but um, I was hoping to record, but we just weren't ever around. And by the time it was time for me to even suggest it, it was so, time for them to go. Unfortunately, we couldn't do a video um, together. I don't know if you guys remember a couple of years ago, my cousin Zari and I did a thrift haul together. I get you guys really liked it. So I was hoping to do that with herself and my other cousin Janelle, but unfortunately we couldn't. So we did a lot of shopping and it was during that week. Um, the week they were here was National Thrift Shop week, uh, Day or something. It was on a Thursday. So they went hella ham and they got so many things. I got a few things too. I wasn't shopping as much, but I did Stuff do that some I have shopping. not washed. I'm gonna show, you, to show them to you guys. Uh, because they were we went to a great. variety of places. We did go to um, Salvation Army Valley Village where the thrift shop sale was. It was 50% off. We also went to Plato's Closet. I got so, this yeah. cute little dress from Plato's Closet and it's just, it has some sequins, sequins here. It's just a strap, a little not a spaghetti, just a wide band strap in sequins and the top and it's all pleats going down. So it's like a calf length dress, but I really like it because there are times when things come up, little parties or a little wedding or something that comes up and you really don't have anything to wear. And I think this will fit into my wardrobe quite a bit. I am thinking I can also dress it down with some just some regular um converse some chucks and in the fall i can wear this with a denim jacket over it and it will still be cool i probably took the ticket off but it wasn't more than ten dollars so i really really like this and it's something that i think i'm gonna get some another thing that i got it and i just caught it which i was so so excited about was this naked urban decay flushed palette and what it is, it's a uh, three color cheap palette. So it has a highlighter, bronzer, and a blush for $15. So could not beat that because these are in Sephora for like $39, maybe $45 in Canadian. So, so Urban Naked Urban Decay Flush. Another palette. thing that I was looking for was I'm always looking for belts. Um, so I got this leather belt from there and it was cheap, cheapish. It was like 10 bucks and it was it looked brand new. It was gen genuine and it is genuine leather. I tried to stick to genuine leather because I don't like when belts just get all cracky and strippy and all that with syn synthetic So I've been popping in and out of all my thrift stores. Um, the two main ones, Valley Village and Salvation and Army. I got a few um, things. These were not on sale, but they definitely were great prices. And I got this beautiful, well, cute, polka dot denim -y looking shirt it's longer but it's polka dot but what i loved about it is that it has mickey mouse on the back mickey and minnie and i just absolutely love this i think i can still get somewhere out of this with some shorts um summer is almost ended but we still do have a few hot days left and this was 6.99 on that trip, trip to the salvation army i also got some army some fatigue pants, some camo fat pants, and these are like so cute. This is exactly what I had in mind. I was looking for it both in the thrift store and regular retail store, but I was so happy to find this, especially with the gathered bottom. So I will be wearing these. It's a cargo style camo pant, and this was $8.99. Okay, so let's move on from Salvation Army because I think these things that I'm going to show you are from Value Village. So I got these two bowls and I 
sometimes love ice cream so when I do have I do have ice cream bowls but I just thought these were cute they look like clamshells and they were $3.99 I also the got this American Eagle t-shirt which I just like how it feels it's their soft and sexy line which is just very soft and just really nice on your skin just a regular blue t-shirt with split on the side little pocket and just nice and flowy um, it's in a size small but you know it should be fine and this was only $4.99 also on that trip I got this cute pretty dress it's a coral with white embroidery on it and it's from Trina Turk which tends to be expensive but it's a big size I think I'm gonna have to get it taken in it was a size 14 but it was I think these fit kind of small but I definitely need to take in like the sides up here it's just a cute I remember they fit and flare yeah this is a fit and fit and fair flare style dress and I just love the color I love 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 the color and that was the reason why I got it and the price of it was $9.99. Also from that trip at the Value Village, I got this red dress from Zara. And it's just a cute short dress which has pockets. It's like a short sleeve with like a cuff right there. Um, and I just like it. It zippers all the way back. I don't think I have a red dress. So this is cute. And this was $9.99. Also, I re-upped on active wear pieces because I gave quite a bit of my stuff to my cousin because she works out more than I do because I'm not able to. But I replaced one of my workout pants with this Adidas one, which I absolutely love. I love Adidas. As you can see, this is an Adidas t-shirt dress, which I'm wearing right now. So I grab this because I really love the color and I love Adidas um, they're comfortable and this was Last but not least I got this little earthenware soap dish well I'm gonna use it as a soap dish it was made in Mexico lead free it says and I really just love that Mexican looking design that it has on it I just love it it has holes at the bottom so your soap won't all melt away. I ordered some soaps from Jamaica um, from uh, a soap maker there that makes a lot of good soaps, especially for problematic skin. Um, I'm using their garlic soap now and I really have seen since Zaria brought, brought them up for me, um, a great change in my face. Uh, just kind of keeping down the cystic acne, which I've spoken about and just kind of lightening those um, hyperpigmentation that I have suffered as a result of these um, acne scarring so, all because of this beautiful soap dish it was too so a couple days ago I was in the area of the value village and popped in there because I was bored you know how I do and I found this nice little romper in one of my favorite colors it's a nice sunshine yellow could be you could probably call it mustardy yellow but it's not quite but it's just a beautiful jumper in yellow. Um, intend to wear it off the shoulder. This is a Labor Day weekend. So hopefully I can get a chance to wear this before it gets too cold. It still has its tag on and it's from Just Fab. And I got it for $8.99. I really, really like it. It's just so fantastic. And if I don't get to wear it before the summer ends I will be taking it on I got this dress from H&M it's from a recent collection from Anna Glover it's still some of it is still in stores so I was I was really was happy 49 it's just a shirt dress pretty simple wear these with some flats or some converse that's my thing and I got it for $8.49 kind of pricey for H&M don't understand it why they sell Forever 21 H&M so expensive but whatever so yesterday I popped in because I thought there might have been something going on at Valley Village. It's a long weekend after all, but wasn't surprised when there wasn't. So I wrapped up about $57 worth of things. And they gave me a, well I had to buy a recycle. They're now encouraging you to bring your own bag. And I love these paper bags. This reminds me of my childhood when everything 
came in paper bags. Um, so, got some good stuff. Um, quite a bit of, well, a couple of things are houseware. So, but my pride and joy, y'all, are these candlestick holders. Oh my God, they're so heavy. First of all, they're brass, brassish, because they're not silver. I need to be able to clean them up. But the weight on this is fantastic. I'm not sure, it has a signature thing on there. Not sure, I have to do some research on it, but this is heavy as hell. Um, for candlesticks, Second of all, they're pineapples. Like, you know, y'all, pineapples are in now, but I've always been into pineapples just because I'm an island girl. So when I saw this, I absolutely nearly flattened on the floor. And then when I felt them and felt the weight of it, I'm like, quality, quality. This is quality. So I even ran to the doll store, got some candles to put in it. But I think these are awesome. And the thing is, y'all, these people don't know the value of things, but that's okay. Thank you, donor. Thank you, Value Village. These are $4.99 each, so I cannot wait to put them up. I already kind of propped it up on my dining table. And uh, I'm just going to clean her up and put her out because I know, I know, yeah, I have found some. There's some tarnishing going on here. So that actually makes me though that this is some legit piece of, I mean, this could really bludgeon somebody if you had a mind to like heavy, really heavy. But this was such a great find and just exactly what I was looking for. Another thing I got was this, not sure why I bought it, but whatever. Um, this is from Thermos. It is Okay, so these are some individual containers that you can put cans of pop in to keep it cold. Um, I don't drink a lot of pop, but I do have ginger ale here just in case I am not feeling too well because ginger ale helps with like tummy issues and so on. And when my nephews come over, this will be handy for them to keep their pop in and um, they'll be able to just not, first of all, mess up my furniture because it's sitting in there, but it, they also keep their cans of whatever coal. And I imagine it could work with cans of beer, um, but my people don't really drink beer out of cans, so we'll see. Um, maybe a beer bottle, who knows? Uh, so this was cool and it was um, $9.99 in the market for dresses because that's the easy thing for me to wear. Um, especially, you know, it doesn't require coordination or anything. So I love a good dress and I love a Tommy Hilfiger dress because they make good dresses. So I got this beautiful striped pleated dress. Well, semi pleats. Yeah, kind of. And it's just simple buttons up the front. I just noticed there's a missing button here. So I'll probably move one up if there isn't one inside. And I can add my own belt to this, but we'll be rocking this next week um, for work, right? So it was $8.99. I think that was a okay. Got another awesome belt price. that was $3.99. So leather, I love a leather belt. I think this one is from The Gap and it was really cheap. I love brown belts. I mean, I just love them around my waist. And, um, it's been a trend nowadays for, you know, like the other day I kind of treated myself to a fine belt from Gucci and um, which I justified because I knew I would wear it. It's like the monogram um, belt. And when I, you know, I didn't think it hard because I thought I deserved it and it's something that I wanted for a while. But the fact is just for everyday wear, I mean... The thrift store is such a good place to find bells. Um, and I say that to say that, you know, I bought that Marmon, Marmon belt, the Gucci Marmon. And, you know, I accepted the fact that it was the price it was, but I know what I want it for. But when I look at this, it's just like $3.99 for leather bells. Same thing, similar quality. 
just that it's not a brand name um why why not you know what i mean can't go wrong but um this uh i love a good leather belt and a thrift store is somewhere that you can always find good belts even in the men's section you go in there you'll see some great belts that just really 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 are strong so got a bible it's a kid's bible but i'm gonna use it myself uh because my i like this version the new international version um it has some pictures in it but i don't care i like the size of the print and it really reads as my new international version that i have is also hardcover but it is towed up so i'm looking to replace it with this one and when i compare i don't think it's any different they don't kind of make it into a childlike version it is still the same version as the bible it's just that it has illustrations in it so this was i think two ninety nine. also got a cute little mixing cup which it's not like i don't have mixing cups but i like this one because it has the spouts all around and easy to pour i bake a lot or used to bake a lot but i plan to rub up some banana uh, cake uh this weekend at some point but i loved it it was uh 2.99 and it's from anchor which is a good brand so i got a couple of things well i met i was actually looking to replace some of my workout shorts because i'm doing physio now and what they do is usually put like this these electronic pads on my knee some kind of electrodes they like put through my knee and it requires that it be on my skin and clearly if i wear tights it's not gonna be effective so they suggested that i wear shorts so i gave away a few of my shorts to zario um semi regrettably but if you're watching there's always more at thrift stores so i found these um climber light these are shorts because even if i wear shorts i wear like these under my regular shorts because they're kind of lifting your leg and pulling it all over the oh nobody's seeing my coochie so i wear tights underneath so this was a good one and for a good price it was eight so i can't wait to layer that under my physio stuff i went in for some and, and actually picked up a few pieces of lingerie which typically that could be a little bit shady at the thrift store but I got this one because it was brand new love it I really like the sheerness of it and I like the fact that the straps it has these cute straps at the back see how it has multiple straps coming down so this will be sexy for somebody right and it still has its tags on and i need to uh warn you guys if you're buying lingerie in the thrift store if it's not new um and even if it is new turn over the crotch and check it because i don't want to tell a story again about what happened when zara and i one year went to pick up a body suit Still, that's still impaled in my brain. Um, but yes. anyway, uh, uh, check the crotch of these things. And I really don't buy bras and stuff there because I'm just a little bit hmm, about that. But I mean, if you are, just make sure you check those things properly, especially things that hug the pirate parts because you don't want to have somebody else's stuff on your stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got this little teddy thing too, which I found kind of cute. And knowing me, I'll just wear this in the house. Whether or not I have a man or not, this shall be worn. So, um, yeah, I think this one is really, really cute. Um, it's like a bodysuit and then it's like shorts. And this one was $5.99 and it's by Vogue Bra. I think that's it for my thrift haul, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And as I said before, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful summer. It's winding down now. It's the week before school starts, the weekend before school starts. And um, I'm, I think this was another good summer. So we got good weather, good balance of 
uh, hot days and so on so I'm happy anyway guys take care and until the next thrift haul bye